with Easter quickly approaching, where better to come into to look for items to put in those Easter baskets than the book table? You've got hundreds of items, don't you? Oh my gosh, we have so many, yeah. so many. Okay, let's look at a few of them, Megan. Uh, we're gonna start with the puzzle up there. Perfect, so we actually have a little bit more than this one. Uh, yeah. um, we've got a few more than that. Um, <laughs> a few hundred, probably. <laughs> yes, there are 500 piece puzzles and it says ages eight and up. So for some of those older kids that you, uh, you're kind of struggling for something original to put in there, right. that's perfect. Yeah. Um, something fun, keeps them busy. Right. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Okay, we're moving on to, now we have to look at this little guy because <laughs> is that the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Tell us what he does. Okay, so you have to put the egg in the water okay. and then a chick will come out and it will increase to four times its original size. So you push it in the water, the shell cracks, I the guess. chick comes out. <laughs> yep. That would be quite a stocking, or not a stocking, but an Easter basket filler right there. Of course, as usual, you've got the delightful um, malted balls, are they, that we have from uh, oh. the bean people? <laughs> Those are my favorite. Are I good. love that stuff. Like, if it's not my Easter basket, it's not really Easter. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> come on in and grab some of those for sure. You need some of those. Okay, we're moving down now. Let's look at this little uh, fellow right here. So that is a 3D pan set. So for that perfect Easter cake for all your parties and stuff, um, it will make a giant peep. Okay. Cake. How does it work? Do we, I bet, I'll bet you have to bake two sides and then put them together? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So those of you that like baking, we've got a few items on here actually. Uh, we've got some cupcake holders and some little bowls. Tell us about, we're going to go down a bit uh, on the front here, Megan. What have we got along here? Um, I actually love this stuff. Um, it's really high quality stuff. It's really great. Um, and they're just, they're fun presents for not necessarily just to put in Easter baskets, but just, you know, for good friends or, you know, doorbell ditching people. Right. Um, <laughs> those are really fun. At the end of the shelf over there, you can see that we, I think those are the little hair things, are they? Yes. They're so cute. They they're just like cute. little Easter bunnies. And of course, not only do they have 800 million books here and everything else in between. They also, should you be looking for a gorgeous uh, Easter outfit for your child, they of course have the dress department full of beautiful Easter dresses, which will go perfectly with the hair accessories too. Okay, Megan, let's move on. What else do we have? Um, let's see. We have some Easter pasta. Okay. And that's kind of cool. It's in like the shape of little Easter eggs and um, little bunny faces. So that's really fun. Um, a fun lunch for the kiddos. Right. Um, we've just got molds for, um, I really, really love homemade chocolates. Okay. And so these molds are just like, they're perfect for that. Oh, really? They're super cute. Or like those homemade Reese's things. Ooh. Those are so good. Nice, nice. I noticed also you have the little um, baskets or the little bags, treat bags for the children too. Oh, yeah, totally. Any number of things here at the book table today. If you want to come in and uh, literally you could spend hours browsing here because they have so much fabulous merchandise. But for Easter in particular, a good time to come in and uh, look for items to get your baskets filled. Megan, tell us where we are here at the book table. We're at 29 South Main, just kitty corner from the Tabernacle. Hey, so you need something for Easter? Come on in and see Megan and the gang and they would love to help you. Thanks, Megan. Hey, thank you.